the starting point really is script as always, and it says albino clone things with, uh, I think Russell described it as mouths like sea anemones. Fronds, I think I said. Fronds coming from the mouth. Big red dangly things. <laughs> with a translation device in their hands. And that was it, you know, so we did some doodles as usual and sent them off to Russell. We hardly ever talk, me and Neil, just email all the time. Literally the first design Russell said, great. It was one of the lucky ones where it was all agreed really quickly. I sent a quick description, he emailed back with the drawing and he just went, oh yeah, that's it. I thought the fronds added to a ball would just get around mouth manipulation and, and, and mouth prosthetics. We did one as an animatronic. It makes the eyes blink and the forehead move, so it gives it facial expressions. So it's, all, it's like having two remote control cars either side of my ears. The eyes of the Ood weren't eye level. When the head's on, your eyes were kind of... The mouth was, was here, if you like. So effectively, the guys in, in the suits were blind. They've got this group hive mind, which is one of servility. Actually, they need a function in life, they need to be given a function. So, um, they're happy slaves. So when they turn nasty, it's really scary. Watch me tentacles. Yeah. They're very sensitive, you know. Yeah. They're a great design, the Ood. They're a bit like a squid, but they're, they're rather kind of mushy and kind of... and they're great to touch. You've got to touch an Ood head. There's something about the spongy kind of stuff that they use to make these things. They're very tactile.